While the NFC North looks to be a really highly contested division, let's look at a team that definitely has many issues. That's the New York Giants. What's the problem in New York? Is it the coaching? Is it the personnel? Or And tell us what they need to do to turn their season around, Sam. Week one against the Lions, I thought it might have been a little bit of both. Uh, I know it, the preseason had been a disaster for the offense. I expected more, although maybe not a lot more from them in week one. Week two, I saw a lot of improvement. If you look, if you actually watch that Cardinals game, they outplayed the Cardinals for a lot of that game. Take away the punt return for a touchdown and the ensuing fumbled kickoff, we have an entirely different game. If they cut down their turnovers in the upcoming weeks, I don't think this team is going to be nearly as bad as last year. Well, it's like my dad always used to tell me, sometimes it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. I, the people have got to play better. Eli Manning turns the ball over way too much. I think, I think he's a little bit overrated as a quarterback. I know he's won two Super Bowls and two MVPs. I don't know who's overrating him anymore. I mean, after he threw 27 right. interceptions last year. I, I think people are still even a little too, bit, a, a little too high on him. Um, I think the fact that Rashad Jennings is their best offensive player is a oh, I big say, problem. I don't think I, I mean, Vic, have we forgotten about Victor Cruz? And what Who he's hasn't, done? I don't, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't shown up a, a lot. Start, but I mean, no. Rashad Jennings had I mean, a fumble in the red zone that right. you could argue cost which, them a chance. Which to goes back to, your, to one of your points, they have to cut down on the yeah. If Eli Manning throws 20 picks this year, they're not going better than 8-8. Absolutely. Eight. Now, Eli Manning, he threw two interceptions, but one of those interceptions was with about 10 seconds left in the game. They were down 11. It was a meaningless play. The other one, it was just a god-awful throw. Uh, I would still argue, though, that this Giants team, if they can cut down on the turnovers, they will be fine. And get a pass rush going. Well, they've definitely been a mystery, but there's still a lot of time for them to turn it around. They weren't able to last year. We'll see if they can this year. Their coach, Tom Coughlin, may be on the hot seat coming up here um, as we move into uh, as the season progresses here. But if it's not Tom Coughlin, who else is a coach that we need to look out for that might be on the hot seat? Well, first, I don't think Tom Cotton is anywhere near the hot seat, but I gotta be thinking his, uh, the other New York coach, Rex Ryan, he's gotta be on the hot seat this year. I, he, this is his fifth season with the team. His first two were great, but last three seasons, it's been very, very, very bad. If I, 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 I gotta disagree with you here. Uh, the Jets were not great last year, but they were in the playoff conversation with not a lot of talent. A lot of people had thought that they would be one of the worst teams in the NFL. They were 8-8 right. eight eight last year. No, he's, he's good at, at making decent teams out of, out of no talent, but, I mean, you can't keep teasing okay, the, the, the fans there. You've got, you got to make it the to the playoffs But the New York Jets have played years. a lot better this year than they have last year. I think this is a no-brainer. It's Dennis Allen of the Oakland Raiders. He's been there for th three years now. How much time are they going to give him? I would say I would give him week five. I don't think this is a question of if. I think this is a question of if when. He doesn't, yeah, if he They're 0-2 right now. They were 4-12 right. the last two, in his first two seasons. He handpicked a lot of those veterans that they brought in. They're 0-2. They have looked absolutely terrible. Yeah, if they don't win at least two of these next three games, they go probably into New England block. this coming week. Then they host Miami, and then they have a bye week in week five. I would be shocked if they won either of these upcoming two games, and I would be even more shocked if he is still a head coach in the NFL come week five. Yeah, I could probably see that happening. Um, kind of an outside chance, I think Mike Smith might be on the hot seat. Why with do you all, say that? With all the talent that they have down in Atlanta, if he doesn't get them back into the playoffs after a absolutely dismal season last year, I think all right, but they, they it had, seems unlikely they to had, me, but I think it's something that would definitely be talked about. But they about. had a lot of injury issues last year. They so did. I, while I agree, I think you got to give Mike Smith a little bit of a chance. But after, after that game against the Bengals this week, you got to be thinking, is he maybe on the hot seat? Agreed. Well, we'll have to see, guys. Thanks. That's all the time we have for this NFL block. Stay tuned to one-on-one -on -one sports as John returns to the desk with our college football experts.